Hello blog readers. Welcome to the very first video blog. Um, I'm sure this is going to reach new levels of awkward in my world of blogging, but I figure it's the best way to show and say what I want to say. So go. This is my dorm room for a desk, dr dresser, bed, I got the window. Outside you can kind of see the fountains in the main courtyard. Um, I think I have it set pretty well. I'm using pretty much every electrical outlet I can. Both speaker, TV, laptop. Laptops hooked up the TV for a dual monitor thing, which I would call awesome. Many other people would call it geeky and stupid. My roommate, on the other hand, um, doesn't have much in here, and what is, is quite messy. I don't really see him ever, and yes, that Royalist banner is pretty much the only decoration I have in the room, other than a small Beatles poster here, and my Royalist thing. As we mosey on over to the window, you can kind of see the main courtyard and the fountains, which I will walk to, out to right about now. From this point on, we're going to switch to narration because I'd look quite stupid walking around the school talking to myself. Here's the hallway that goes into my dorm. I'm the first door coming in from the main room, which I'm not going to go to the And here are the fountains. This is called the New You. It's a long grass field with apartments on either side. It's pretty nice to look at and the fountains are cool. That's Fisher South, the dorm where I live. That's the administrative building. And now you can walk with me. Step, step. You can walk straight into them, which I am not going to do with this camera, and actually have a back up for that way. After a cool transition, you can see the plaza where the, some bell, I forgot what it's called, is held. Um, apparently it's some tradition when you finish your final, final as a senior, you get to ring the bell to announce you're done with college, which I guess is pretty cool. But that area is another nice place to sit and look at. One thing I like is all the buildings have the same type of architecture and material. So everything seems to go together. And the paths are all this brick, which is laid out in a pattern. Um, we are walking further and further away from my dorm. Right now, sorry for the camera shakes. Up here you can see one of the many bike racks on campus. They have these bike racks because you, as a student, you are allowed to rent these bikes for the year. It's free, they give you a lock and everything, and it's pretty cool. They just give you a bike. I have one sitting outside my dorm, and I'm taking it for a couple random rides around campus, which were actually pretty fun because I haven't hadn't ridden a bike in like six years. That's the chapel. I went inside today and it is pretty awesome actually. Up here on the right you can see some construction. They are always building things and just doing other construction around campus. Right now there's an engineering building two building, engineering building to go on backside campus. Right there, I don't know what's happening, but a lot of dirt being moved. There's the other side of the chapel, sit sign. As we approach the old view, there, this sits in front of the library. That's the library from a far away view. Um, library has this nice little area to sit, which I'm about to walk up onto. You 
Yeah, I actually haven't sit, sat up here before, but I'm sure someday it'll be nice to sit there. Once again, another building with the same type of architecture. I just like how everything flows as you walk around campus. You know you're on the same campus the whole time. Here's a closer view of the library entrance. It's McFarland Library, I forgot. It's pretty epically look epic looking building and it stands in the middle of campus. Most of it's actually underground. You can see there the stacks are all underground with all the books. So if you walk around the main level there are no books, it's just computer labs. In there are a couple of twenty four hour computer labs which are nice, I guess, if you didn't have a computer or need a specific program. As we walk around that little death hole, you can see the old U right here which is another nice open grass area which I enjoy thoroughly buildings on either side just their paths running through it and a nice design and once again it just all looks great together far away view of the library and as I zoom in there you can see downtown Tulsa from here and the Tulsa's university has actually ordered the city that they can't build any tall buildings in between that space and downtown so that students can always see the downtown skyline which is pretty cool and shows that the school has a pretty good amount of power. I'm now walking around the old U and in the middle here is a nice flower display. If I turn around you can kind of see the DU logo. Once again it makes for a pretty epic picture. See. One cool thing about this area is all the lights along the paths have electrical outlets which would be nice for using your laptop sitting out in the grass on a nice day. Fortunately it's been too hot lately so I haven't even Close to trying that. All around campus are these emergency blue lights. You can see one wherever you are. If you're about to get raped or something, I guess you click it and security comes. I've walked a bit now, and here is the row of fraternities on campus. There are five of them, and they all have just houses in a line on campus, which is nice. All the fraternities and sororities are on campus and are on a, one little section, so it's not hard to find. There is one of the shuttles that is running around campus. They run continuous routes during the day, and you can ride on it. Uh, there is a shot of security truck. They are everywhere, literally. Now we're in the sports complex. That was the Reynolds Center where the basketball and indoor sports are. Here's the football stadium. Um, that gate to the football field is always open, and every time I walk past it, I think I should, I wonder if I'm able to run on the field without anybody saying anything, or if it's just open to football players. Someday I might run on the field, I have to decide whether I want to get that risk. I'm now walking on the other side of that building, coming close to the actual field. Uh, you can get this close because there's a gate, but stu some students who live in the apartments need that gate to get into their apartment, so it's open all the time, except for game days. Here's the stadium. Zoom in on the wrong part of the field. Hey, there's the Tulsa logo. And other stadium. These are the apartments I was talking about. They are right next to the stadium. If you're an upper class, you can live in up, and apparently they are pretty awesome. The more apartments, these are right next to the ones I just showed you. They're just all online. The cool thing is, these apartments are all on campus, so you don't have to worry about finding anything off campus. You just sign up and say you want to have one, you can just get one to get from. We have now made a circle and are back at the old view with the fountain. There's the administrative building. 
as I begin to walk back in the bishop south, my lord. And it's been for the rest of the day being who knows what. Actually, this whole week they've had a pretty full schedule of activities, so I haven't had much time to stick around. Uh, which is pretty good because I don't have any people I have now, but it's just going for so many like three or four days still. I have one kid I think I'd be able to build a friendship with, but other than that, it's not really. And as you get closer and closer to Fisher South, the camera shakes more. And I wonder how I'm going to wrap this up. So, I am going to wrap this up. After I take a few more steps. Closer. Closer. I do like that you can walk pretty much anywhere and cars will stop for you in a college campus. That's nice. And generally the campus is just a nice place to walk, but of course that would be very nice to look at. So goodbye for now. And I think I'll make more video vlogs more often because they're fun to make. Bye.